It takes just five steps to do a basic width track configuration and you'll see them all in 90 seconds. Here we add a customer. Next we add a part number to the system and choose a customer for that part. Next we add an operation to whip track. Given an operation number, a name, a, a few other details, and then we add some equipment that it can use. Next we add some documentation on how to do the operation, add a few rejects. Operator qualification. Next we create a new traveler, give it a traveler number, a revision, a name, and a description. We insert operations onto the traveler by selecting from the list of previously defined operations, building our traveler as we go. Adding SPC to the steps that require it and finally releasing the traveler for use in WhipTrack. And now let's watch WhipTrack start three new lots against a work order. We're going to start one called a new lot, assign it to a user, give it a PO. Now we're going to start new lot A, new lot B, and here they are. Let's spend the last few seconds of perusing the whip track menu structures. Contact us for more detailed information. You have just seen the basics. Whip track can be configured to do so much more. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication.